Okay, these are two Hobby King motors. They're, these are the 700 kV motors. You can get them in 750, I think, as well. But what I want to show you here is this motor is right out of the box. You can see how these windings, um, the, the insulated part, are just attached to the windings. And there's no, see, there's no support on this. See how the wires move around and there's a lot of flex there? They'll work like that, but if you have a bad crash and it pulls on these wires, there's just a thin coating insulation on those wires and it'll short them out and you'll probably end up ruining these motors. And over time, just the vibration of the wires moving will cause problems with these things too. I always take uh, some five minute epoxy. And you don't have to get carried away with it. Just mix some five minute epoxy up and put, put them over the wires and over the in, you know over the wires and down into the windings. It won't hurt the motors at all as long as you don't get any in the rotating part of it, right? So don't you know don't get carried away with it and it'll be fine and it makes these things see there's no movement there at all. Everything's nice and firm and uh, it makes them last a lot longer. They'll take more abuse, put it that way. Uh, the second thing is uh, there's a grub screw uh, you can just barely see that one right there and there's one hidden down here but anyways takes the take those grub grub screws screws out put some uh, Loctite on them and tighten them back in again because they will I guarantee they will vibrate loose and this motor will separate from the motor mount and you're gonna have a catastrophe and especially if you don't have your wires epoxy because that twisting that motor running will rip those wires right out. It'll kill it and short the speed controlled out. It'll be just, it'll be a big problem. Ask me how I know. I know from experience. Uh, one other thing uh, that you should do, well, two things actually, is cut the shafts down. See, this is a stock shaft. These shafts are actually quite weak. They're, uh, they bend really easy. So. Um, figure out what prop you're going to use and then leave yourself you know an eighth to a quarter of an inch at the most quarter of an inch cut it off um, let's file the end so that there's no burrs or anything and so then when the props in here and this is tightened down on it it makes a nice solid column so that shaft is supported really well and then the, they don't bend near as easy that way uh, the other thing is Undo that grub screw and move this bell off the end of the shaft and you'll see there's a notch uh, in the shaft uh, that's longer than the grub screw. So even if that's tight and you tighten the prop down, this bell can slide down the shaft a little bit and it binds the bearings and it puts an extra load on your motor. It can actually burn the motor out. Um, I've had where it, motors got very tight and they would overheat. so. Take that off, take a Dremel, and just put the, a little bit more of a notch, just exactly, you'll see where the, the grub screw has bottomed out, and just notch that so when you tighten it in, it can't go past it. And then put everything back together, and if you do those simple little things, uh, these Hobby King motors, they're only, I don't know, they're not much, they're 12 bucks or something, they'll last a long time and you can abuse them pretty good but there's a couple little things that you should do just to make sure that they're going to last okay hope that's uh, helpful uh that's it